What is this? The New York Rangers are 1-0. They beat the Tampa Bay Lightning 3-1 at their home opener. Well, let's break down the game. First of all, I was there. It was an incredible atmosphere. It always is. Let's dive right into an injury update. Vitaly Kravtsov is considered day-to-day. -day. He is not going to Minnesota and Winnipeg with the team. Therefore, he won't be playing, obviously. But they're optimistic. They don't think he's going to be out for that long. Sammy Blay is still also hurt, but he will be making the trip. So we'll see if he plays. The word is that he might not play Thursday. Could play Friday, but we'll see. Diving into the game now. The Rangers, like I said, wanted to get engaged early. They were hitting, they were skating hard, and making some good plays. Andre Vasilevsky was the story of the first period, making top-notch saves. If it wasn't for him, the Rangers could have been up 1 or 2 nothing at the end of the first. But at the end of the first period, the Rangers were dominating face-offs. They were winning a lot of draws, and I'm going to be honest with you, it's the Vincent Trocek effect. I really do believe with him on this Rangers team, it's going to help everybody else win face-offs as well. I didn't think the referees were bad last night, but I do think there were a lot of missed calls, especially early in the first, that they eventually called later in the game don't know why they didn't call it early now into the second period one of those penalties was called on the rangers and the rangers go short-handed rangers find themselves on an on-man rush it's lafreniere with zabanjad mika zabanjad with the first rangers goal of the season from truba and miller it was an amazing play by mika zabanjad lafreniere as well staying on side zabanjad with a forehand backhand top shelf he didn't even know it went in it was a fantastic goal a great first goal for the rangers to start their season at 802 of the second period the rangers get called for two penalties at the same time Keandre Miller for tripping and Barkley Goudreau for elbowing is what it is the Rangers were doing a very good job on the five on three penalty kill until they lost the face off as I just mentioned before they were dominating the face offs all night meanwhile the one that they lose a very important one that they lose ends up in the back of their net it's Steven Stamkos power play goal halfway through the second period and it's one to one Rangers throwing a lot of shots on that at the end of the second period it's one to one now into the third period it's Mika Zibanejad once again Four Former New York Ranger Vladislav Nemestikov, high sticks Barkley Goudreau, and the Rangers go to the power play early in the third period. Their power play tonight looked really good. They had a lot of chances. They had a lot of looks. They spent majority of the time on the power play in the offensive zone. Again, most of that first unit was out there the whole time. I thought they looked really good, and then it finally paid off by a goal. Zibanejad off of a one-timer from a great pass by Artemi Panarin. Artemi Panarin was very noticeable tonight. Zibanejad, his second of the season, second of the game, on the power play from Panarin and Kreider, five minutes into the third period. Rangers did not take their foot off the gas. They were playing in Tampa Bay zone for most of that third period. They really wanted to win this game. You can tell what it meant to win this game to a lot of these Rangers players. Late in the third period, they were aggressive. They kept the foot on the gas against this Tampa Bay team. And they were able to get another goal. It's former Tampa Bay Lightning, Barclay Goudreau. Lingering with a shot towards the goal. Tipped in by Barclay Goudreau. 3-1 to one Rangers. It was a great goal, really gritty goal by the Rangers. They were spending some time in that offensive zone. And it was able to pay off. 3-1 Rangers, and that's how the game is going to end. I want to talk about some players that stood out to me. I thought Capo Caco was really good offensively with that first line. Lafreniere seemed to find his way on that second line with Panarin and Trocek after Kravtsov got hurt. Didn't really see too much from them on even strength. I thought they had some good looks. I would like to see that a little more. Maybe for them to play a little more. We'll see what happens tomorrow. And then the bottom six I thought was pretty solid tonight. The Rangers defensively, in my opinion, was really good. I didn't think they gave up too many high offensive chances. The light Lightning's expected goals was around two and a half, but you obviously have Igor Shosurkin in that, so it was a great game by the Rangers. They're able to get the first win of the season, three to one. They're one year older, one year wiser. Who knows what happened maybe last year if they blow that lead in the third period? I don't think they do, but I'm just very happy to see that they're not going back to the retreating in the defensive zone when they have a lead and not keeping the foot on the gas. It was just happy to see game one. Like I said, Igor was very sharp. The only goal he gave up was on a power play. No goaltender in the world is stopping that shot by Steven Samkos. I thought he made some really good saves. This game could have been a lot different if Andre Vasilevsky didn't make the saves he needed to. Rangers with a huge face-off advantage as well, like I talked about before, the Vinny Trocek effect. Rangers 1 for 4 on the power play and 5 for 6 on the penalty kill. Excellent to see. The Rangers are 1-0 at Madison Square Garden. They're 1-0 for the season. I appreciate every single one of you guys so much. Click above one of my shoulders. 
one of these videos is going to be the reaction video live from Madison Square Garden last night. And the other one is something new that we're trying, a game day vlog. We were at Madison Square Garden live, so so that is live from MSG. I appreciate every single one of you guys for watching. Please leave a like down below if you did enjoy this video. If you guys are brand new, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.